Hello guys, uh, welcome to yet another episode of uh, AML Talks. So today we will be talking about Llama 3.3 and uh, Grok Cloud. So using Grok Cloud, we will be using the open source uh, version of Llama uh, Llama models uh, that is uh, created by uh, Facebook. Uh, okay, so we will be using uh, uh, the Llama 3 model and we will be creating our RAG architecture out there based on Raga uh, Llama. Okay so i have uploaded the code out there in uh, github you can go to mato slash llama uh, grok uh, dash rag uh, so you can just I'll, I'll put that link uh, in my youtube description also uh, so this is what we are just uh, we will create our first uh, uh, open source model that is not on locally hosted again uh, so if you want to use a locally hosted version uh, that you can uh, like you know get uh, you will have to have a decent set of specs in your system then only we can use it out okay so let's move to the code and we'll see how it works okay yeah so i'll just clear it as of now so i've already created created the environment and uh, this is my main file and then again uh, the env file will be there in the env file we'll require uh, the grok uh, key now the grok what we need to do is so you need to go to grok cloud okay and uh, you can just uh, like you know log in log into grok cloud i have already logged in i guess it's uh, so you can sign up for grok cloud and it will give you free uh, like you know free access to everything so uh, like you know let's go to the dev console so this dev console like you know you can uh, try out any model that you wish to try uh, so most of the models are available i think only yeah llama 3 it's llama 3 grok something if preview is there okay and then uh there will be uh, like llama specific wrapper llama 3.1 llama 3.2 is also available here but in the api version there is llama 3.3 is also available okay that you can use and it's very pretty fast like you know uh, who is the prime minister of india So see, it's pretty fast. Like you know, the latency is pretty fast. Like you know, one of the fastest out there. So the token per second for this query was like you know, uh, twelve hundred. So uh, like in normally in uh, if you're using Open AI or if you're using Gemini, uh, even if you're using Gemini first, that is slower than this thing. Okay. So just because they have like you know some uh, LPUs, they're using LPUs for the inference part. That is language processing uh, units. Uh, so. Uh, so after like you know coming to console.grok.com you just need to create an api key you go to api keys wait a minute yeah and then you, you need to create your own api okay give it a name and then create an api then whatever the value will be there you just copy it out and use it okay uh, so this is how we'll create so i have just tested your out like and i've just made some four, three four calls then after that you need to go to documentation here and how you will use it okay so if you just want to use it for your like you know simple call just create your own chatbot then go select python and just copy this code and it will be like you know useful for you but if you are going to use it in, in a rag framework using lang chain and all then you need to install the langchain version of it okay so that i have done so i'll move to the code again so see in langchain what you need to do is you need to import uh, so what i have done is like you know we have whatever uh, uh, code that we had for our previous uh, thing that that only i've changed it to uh, for grok so what special thing that you need to do is here you need to install like you know from uh, Langchain uh, like pip install uh, Langchain underscore grok. So from there you need to uh, import chat grok. So in chat op like you know it, it for chat GP uh, chat open AI, we were using chat open AI there. Now here we will be using chat grok. So uh, uh, this is the thing that you need to do, and rest of them you need to import uh, Chroma DB. We are using Chroma DB, hugging face, and all those things. Uh, most of them uh, are same only. Okay. So again uh see we, we are just taking a like a pdf file and reading it out 
and uh, same for like you know splitting uh, splitting document so we are taking a chunk size of 500 and then a chunk overlap of 100 so this again you need you can like you know change up, up, up according to your data set uh, so we are doing the text splitting as we we did for our uh, previous uh, models so so this will split the like you know uh, uh, split your documents into chunks so if you require like you know whatever uh, number of chunks that you require uh, that you can have like you know so again this is the embedding model uh, like you know embedding model again we are using sentence transformers all all many lm so that also you can change uh, so we are creating embeddings here and in the qa chain part you need to uh, mention the uh, model so chat grok you just need to mention the model name so instead of this llama 3.3 70 billion versatile you can use other models also that is available on chat grok so you can use mistral or anything and then like you know what we are doing here is we are uh, getting the top five chunks so like the top five most similar chunks to our query and then same like you know retriever part and then we are uh, this is like you know this is a separate class that i've created for processing the pdf so earlier it was like you know taking some time uh, to have a like you know directly do the chunking again 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 so it, it's like you know once you do the chunking and you vectorize it you will uh, reuse the same chunks uh, uh, the same vector db uh, to query something else okay so we will show that in the example so you can uh, just see the code this code is there in the github part and then from there you can uh, use it okay if you have any query then just uh, ask questions out here so i don't have any issues okay i will i'll let you know i'll reply to everything uh, so yeah so i'll go to the my gradio interface so in the gradio interface uh, what we are doing is we are first calling the pdf processor so pdf processor uh, is taking the uh, like you know uh, i'll just open it up uh, just let me run it down and hopefully then you will be able to see what it does so python main.py yeah so it will be running on a local url just uh, do control click and now you need to uh, upload your file so the first thing that we are doing is we are uploading the files here so i'll just upload this cnn.pdf and then you click on process pdf so what process pdf does is it it does a vectorization and uh, it stores this document in forms of vectors uh, and in chunks uh, like you know uh, in forms of vectors like you know it will do the embedding part for all these things and stores it there so uh, let's see what it does so what we are calling is the pdf processor see so it will process the pdf and create a vector store so so it will check all the all the files there and then if there is no file then it will it will show no P, new pdf to process if all the and then it will process what it does is like you know it will uh, it will call, call the load pdf uh, that initial what we are doing here was uh, we are using pi pdf loader to uh, extract that part into a document format so that document will be sent there again so where will we yeah so those documents are sent and then we are extending that document in the, that list part only okay so this all document is a list in this list we are if there are multiple pdfs then we are just uh, extending it out there then we are calling the split document so based on your chunks we will be splitting the documents okay after splitting we are like you know creating the vector sto uh, store uh, and then we are like you know uh, create uh, like you know creating the new embeddings and then uh, we are adding the uh, like you know documents there in that uh, vector store as a form of embeddings okay so now after this upload uh, file what we are doing we are calling the pdf like you know uh, process pdf so process pdf is what process pdf is doing it is just 
लेकिन कॉलिंग दैट पी डी एफ प्रोसेसिंग फंक्शन ओके सी ऑन बटन क्लिक सो जस्ट चेक इट आउट इट विल इट विल कॉल द प्रोसेस पी डी एफ एंड देन देर इज दिस इनपुट बटन फॉर आवर लाइक नो दिस वॉज इनपुट फॉर अ फाइल देन अगेन यू विल हैव ए इनपुट टेक्सट बॉक्स फॉर क्वेरी सो दिस लाइक नो वेन यू क्लिक दैट सबमिट क्वेरी बटन सो वट इट डज हेयर सो वी आर कॉलिंग द क्वेरी पी डी एफ ओके सी वट वी आर डूइंग द क्वेरी पी डी एफ इज लाइक नो वी आर क्वेरिंग द इन वॉकिंग द क्वेरी आउट देयर एंड देन वी आर गेटिंग द सोर्स डेटा ऑल्सो ओके सो लेट्स चेक इट आउट हाउ इट्स वर्किंग See, we have already uh, processed this thing. So let's ask: Is it a question? What is a PNN? So CNN is a like you know a type of artificial neural network that is analogous to traditional NN. Okay. So uh, this is what and the it has got it from uh, these multiple sources. The pages are listed here. So let's ask like you know. CNN is different from CNN. So see, uh, we have already vectorized this PDF. So now we can have multiple queries. See. Uh, uh, so according to the provided context, the dif key difference between CNN and the ANN are CNNs are primarily used in the field of pattern recognition within images, whereas ANNs are more general purpose. So this is what the answer is. Uh, so like you know you can uh, use uh, upload any pdf and then uh, get answers based on yourself so you can just uh, like you know and it's pretty fast also because it's using grok lpu to inference uh, so you what you can do is like you know you can just go and uh, like you know try this part because if you want to try any open source on your system it may not work so uh, because this is uh, something that you know uh, not everyone has high high like you know gpu uh, systems available to them so you can just simply use grok uh, to build any rag based system okay i hope you have liked uh, my video so do like share and subscribe my channel thank you very much